Hello and welcome back to the flax sweater tutorial. This is the ninth video and we have been working on the sleeve last time. So I have knitted down 8 inches, so I'm about elbow height now. So we are going to be doing some decreases to go down to the cuff. Okay, so where on your pattern it says decrease round, it says knit one, knit two together. So I've already knit one to keep my stitch marker on. So now I'm just going to knit two together. And then knit to three stitches before the marker. If you're like me, you will have stitch markers in for the garter stitch panel. So we go past those. It's not talking about those ones. It's talking about when you get back to this one. So it's just your beginning of the row when it's talking about. We're not taking any stitches out anywhere else. So I'm just going to knit round. I'm trying to stay in frame this time. I'm really sorry it went so out of frame last time. I need to do a purl row on this one because I did a knit row last time in this garter section. You may be able to hear a lot of birds. <laughs> It's a gorgeous day in the UK today and I'm sitting by the patio doors and I've got them open. So we've got a lot of wildlife going on out there today. My cats are doing their favourite hobby, a bit of bird watching. So just going round here. Slip that marker back onto knitting. So we've got all those loose ends hiding inside. I did have a little tidy up in there, but I didn't spend a great deal of time on it. just coming up to the beginning of my row stitch marker again so I just remind myself it says knit to three stitches before the marker so there's my three stitches and slip slip knit then knit one so slip slip Put that other needle into the front, yarn rounds and just knit those two together again and then knit one. And that is your decrease row. It says then work five rounds even and what it means by five rounds even is just knit your normal no decreases. So you're just going to do carry on knitting with just doing your garter panel. So you just need to do five rounds and then repeat the previous six rounds. So a decrease round and then five even rounds for however many you need to do. So I'm doing the third adult size. So I need to do six. So I'm going to do six times six rounds until I have 41 stitches. So however many times you need to go round after that. So all I have to do now is the five rounds even. So I'm not going to do them all because it's just knitting. And you are well aware of you've got to do that. As I say, the decrease rounds, you've just got to do that same decrease every time. 
So five straight knit rounds incorporating your garter panel and then a decrease round. As I say, write it down so you know where you are. There's the stitch count, so you can check that you have got the right amount of stitches. You should be decreasing two stitches with every decrease round. Moving on from that, I'll just do my stitch marker. I'm not good at talking <laughs> and doing what I'm doing at the same time, which is a disadvantage when you're doing tutorials. <laughs> um, yeah, so moving on, when you've finished that, then you need to do a decrease round that's using the same techniques for before the rib. So you're just going to be knit one, knit two together. Um, that's just to set up the right amount of stitches so your rib will work out evenly. And then just do a rib and then your rib cast off. So just like we did at the bottom of the sweater, you just need to do where, where you knit one for the rib, you knit one. When you purl one, you purl one, but you just cast off by taking that stitch over the top exactly the same. So that is all you need to do to finish off your sleeve. So as I say, if you have any problems, let me know. But I don't see you need to be watching me just knit or when we get down to the rib, you're quite capable of doing that. You've done all that now, so you can do something far more interesting while you're knitting. Listen to music or watching something rather than watch me and listen to me Babylon nonsense. <laughs> so I shall leave you with that. I am going to do another video for the flax. I was going to do a blocking video just to show you how I block my items. So blocking is literally when you soak an item and then you pin it out to the size you want it. So if you needed it to be like the arms, you're going to knit to the length you want them, minus one and a half inches, is that? For the adult side, it's one and a half inches again for the rib. So if you measure how long you want your arms, and then one and a half inches less is when you stop to do the rib. But if when you try on the sweater, it's a little bit short than you wanted it. That's where we can correct that a little bit with the blocking. So we just pull it out and do pins. So I was going to just do a video just to go through that with you. So that makes it a little bit clearer. And as I say, if you do need, like me with my hips, if it is a little bit snugger than I want it to be, that's the stage where I can just, just tease it out a little bit just so I've got that little bit more room. So that's what we should be doing in the next video, but you've got this sleeve to finish first and then moving on to the next sleeve. But as I've been doing both my sleeves, well, I've done a little bit of this because I wanted to do another sleeve one, but I've been trying to do them both at the same time. So I should get there pretty soon. It's nice and easy knitting. Oh, I've just gone to a, she says as she makes a mistake, just gone to a knit when I knew I needed to be purling. Um, yes, yeah, so it's a nice easy knit. So I'm hoping to get that next video up quite soon so we can get that polished off and then we can move on to the next. I've not been doing the Mercury socks. I started doing the Mercury socks. I should do a video explaining what's going to be happening next. But I started in the Mercury socks and I decided it's not a good pattern for beginners to try at the moment. I should talk you through the reasons for that in the video. Um, so I've been doing some, trialing some toe up socks to learn something different. So that will be the next one. And obviously we've got a sweater. So we'll be, it's not a sweater, a cardigan will be starting soon as well. So I'll do 
a video just talking through what will be coming up next. So thank you for joining me. Good luck. I hope you're enjoying your flax knitting and it's looking good. And I shall speak to you soon. So happy knitting and bye for now.